Good morning everybody, Saturday morning. Oh, I've been up for about 10, 15 minutes. I was doing a bit of editing on yesterday's vlog. I just made myself laugh, looking at the wardrobe and function bits again. And while I was doing that, Michelle has, well, drop my glasses. Michelle has made breakfast of coffee and chocolate nom 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 so we're gonna have breakfast and then figure out what we're gonna do for the day speak to you shortly well I must be a lot tired than I think I felt, just felt asleep watch it had my breakfast and fell asleep so consequently it's now moved on a bit an hour moved an hour moved on I think I'm gonna get my video edited and move on hope I wake up I'm feeling really groggy not good. Right. I've just finished editing uh, yesterday's vlog, but I hope I've looked at that. Michelle's still mad at me for laughing at her. And uh, I've woke up and look what's happening. It's snowing. Awesome. That's pretty heavy as well. Well, we were going to go out. But I think that's going to make us stay in and watch films because it's not worth going out in that unless you like skiing. So I think it's a batten the hatches day. Batten the hatches and stay in and keep cosy, toasty warm. Okay, we've not been doing much today. Just basically chilling because it's snowing out. Stop snowing, it's getting a bit warmer. But Michelle is now making chicken fried rice. She has already made the rice. Yep, and it's come out perfectly for a change. She has made the rice in the microwave. She's now trying to attempt to break eggs with it getting it everywhere. I was only joking. So I decided that we were going to watch Sherlock from January. Have you looked for that? Yeah. Yeah, we're going to watch the show, the Christmas special of Sherlock. We'll let you know how it is. That's tea ready. Chicken fried rice, lovely. I'm going to eat that now while it's watching Sherlock. Nom 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 nom. Well, I finally got round to watching the Christmas Sherlock. 
uh, the abominable bride and it was awesome I really enjoyed it then Michelle may not have watched it because she was doing a lot of reading but we shall ask what did you think it was good yeah thumbs up thumbs up so yes we especially me enjoyed that Michelle has made pudding she made it up herself it's jam roly poly let's go back to school days I the bought it from Tesco's. It's part of our Friday night hunter gather. Yeah, this is so on the diet. Yeah, because that's the way we diet. Nom nom, lovely. I enjoy that. Okay, I've decided to watch another film. And I've chosen my pick. I have chosen The Martian. Matt Damon's The Martian. Because we didn't actually get to see it in the cinema. This has thrown up one slight dispute in the household. Alan and Shell's household. Shell has realised that Alan, one, doesn't know his alphabet. Two, can't remember where he puts things. Three, definitely relies on Michelle putting them away after him. Because I have just spent, I've hunted high and low for this. Now I knew I had it because I've got a database where I scan them in off the barcode. So it entered the house and then disappeared. It was where you put it. Now when, what Michelle, Michelle did, from her seat without moving, 100 yards away, it said, it's there. It wasn't there before, that's all I can say. It wasn't my fault. The Nargles did it. Anyway, we're going to watch the Martian. She didn't even use her magic fingers. Nope. <sighs> that's the Martian over. No, it's not. We weren't watching the Martian, were we? Were we? Yeah. <sighs> <laughs> Fail. I don't even know why I'm dating myself. Right, that's the Martian over. And what your thoughts were? That was brilliant. Although that is like the third time that Matt Damon has been stranded on an alien planet. Maybe Hollywood should just learn it and leave him there. Not a Matt Damon fan then. Actually, the film was really, really good. I really enjoyed it. But he always seems to end up stranded on an alien planet. Yes, he he managed that on Interstellar, and he managed it on. I can't remember the other one. No, neither can I. Was it something to do with Armageddon? Was it in Armageddon? I wouldn't like to say. No, it wasn't that. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to Google it. Well, yes, this time, unlike Interstellar, he got off the planet and lived, apparently. Uh, yeah, I thought it was good. It's good. So, 8 of 10, I would... I wish I'd seen that at the cinema, but I would give it a 7 out of 10. It's got to be an 8.5 for me. I really enjoyed it, but I like I like space films, so... Yeah, so, 8.5 carlings out of 10, then. And I'm giving it seven carlings out of ten. Cool. All right. That's what to do now. Saturday night. Ten past ten. I think it's time to say good night. Go upstairs and watch some TV upstairs. As you can see. The soul rock and roll. I still don't know what time we have to be going out tomorrow. I need to find that out. Yes, tomorrow we're going out. Uh, I don't think I'll be able to vlog when we get there. Uh, so it, tomorrow's might be a very short vlog. 
bit like today's, but that's okay. Okay, let's just see you for tonight. Can't even sell that. We shall say good night to you tonight, and it's a good night from me. <laughs> and it's a good night from him. Good night.